How you doing? This is Aaron with RevolutionAthlete.com. Today I'm going to show you three good exercises you can do for tennis. Um, obviously tennis involves your legs, a lot of your core, and most of your muscle groups from here to here. Also you have to have good forearm strength, shoulder strength and flexibility, and endurance. So I'm going to show you three good exercises you can do anywhere. Uh, I'm doing this in a house so you can see what it would look like. Um, I have a couple different weights, um, medicine ball, everything here is pretty cheap. You can probably find it at yard sales or a uh, local department store. It wouldn't cost you that much. You may even actually have some stuff in the house you can use, um, a jug of water or anything that has a little bit of weight to it. Um, first exercise, very easy. It's called a, a balanced twist and press or a Russian twist and press, any way you want to call it. Um, very simple. You're going to stay up in the air this way. You're going to keep your abs tight the whole time. And when I say tight, I mean if someone's going to come by and they were going to hit you, you'd still be tight, but you're still able to breathe. So you don't want to hold your breath and not be able to tighten your abs at the same time. So you want to breathe, but keep your abs tight so you can move and be safe. Okay? So start with your feet up. Grab anything. I'll use this ball uh, to start. Keep your abs tight. Still breathe, and you're going to make small turns back and forth. You don't want to come way over here. You've probably seen people doing this before. It puts a lot of torque in your back, and you want to stay tight. Okay? So small turns. Your body, if you're staying tight, your body's only going to allow you to make this small of a turn. Okay? So you make a small turn, and then to add to it, for a little bit of advanced twist and press. Okay? Twist, press. Like a follow through um, when you're hitting a ball. Okay, going this way or lefty this way. Okay, same thing, same motion, twist, press, twist, press. Okay, so we'll go sideways. Very simple, twist, press, twist, press. Keep your feet up. You don't have to if you're getting really tired. As long as you keep your abs tight, it's just a little bit more uh, uh, taxing in your body and make you a little more tired. Uh, second exercise, another simple one. Okay. Um, you can use any kind of weight. This is a uh, um, 10 pound weight. Okay, you're going to do two things at once. I'll show you from the side first, then forward. Just a basic shoulder raise. Obviously, you need your shoulders um, for tennis. So you're going to raise up, then you're going to twist back and forth. Okay, and then come back down. Up, back and forth. Okay, so if you're looking straight ahead, very simple. Up, back and forth. So just picture a clock, 12's up here, 6 is down here. You want your hands to go from 12 to 6, and then back down, up, back down, okay? You don't want to have the weight up here with your arms bent or really locked out and straightening. You want to have them up with a little bit of a bend to them, right here, back and forth, back down, okay? You can do this separate, or this separate, or putting the two together. Also, standing up like that, having the weight up here, is going to make you keep your chest up and use your abs and lower back again. So you won't be uh, down here or up here. You have to stay nice and straight, which makes you tight again. Okay. Uh, third one, just a speed squat. It's just something to get your legs in shape. Obviously, uh, tennis is quick back and forth, but the game's very long. You need endurance in your legs. So you can hold the weight on your chest. I'll hold this ball. You can hold it any way you want. I mean, you can hold it up over your head this way. Behind your head here, as long as your form is good, it doesn't matter um, which way you hold the ball. But for beginner's purposes, I'll hold it in front of me just this way. Just cradle the ball, hold it right here. All you're going to do with good squat form, and I'll explain what good squat form is. You're going to come down and come up, but you're going to be doing it fast. So it would be, okay? Good squat form is having your chest up when you come down. Your knees aren't going past your toes all the weight should be on your heels. So if you're kind of unsure where you should be, all the weight should be on your heels. So if you can wiggle your toes, you're probably in the right direction. If most of your weight's forward, you can't wiggle your toes, you need to put more weight going back. And how you do that is sitting back. So you sit back this way while your chest is up and on this side of your body. So lower half this way, upper half this way, but you're not leaning. So watch. Come down. My weight's still centered over my body. Come down. Okay. You don't have to go past parallel, a lot of uh, power lifters, weight lifters do, which is fine, it's very good. But in tennis, uh, you're never going to hit a ball and come this low. You're really going to be in this position here, so you want to be strong from here to here. If you can go down that low, great, do it. If you can't, that's okay. So come down, remember, knees don't go over your toes, weights on your heels, your toes should be able to wiggle nice and light. 
Okay, your butt's back, your chest is up. Okay, looking forward straight ahead. Make sure your toes are straight in line. Don't have them out this way. Don't have them in this way. Another thing, don't let your knees come in. I see a lot of athletes that do this. Your knees are coming in. They need to be straight, okay? So if you even have to draw two lines um, on a mirror, uh, sometimes I do that with some of the athletes. Just qu two quick lines and they follow the lines on the mirror coming down, okay? They just take a little bit of chalk, they put it on the mirror so they can wipe it off, and they follow the lines with their knees so they know that they're in the right spot. So speed squat, right down, right up, okay? You can have your hands behind your head. Any way you do it, as long as this part that we talked about is in perfect form. Uh, okay, so wrap it up. Uh, balance, twist, and press. Okay, on the ground. Second one, shoulder raise, twist. And the third exercise is the speed squat. Do as many reps and sets as you need. Uh, just work hard. Uh, get a good sweat. Uh, get your heart rate up. Stay hydrated and just uh, do the best you can. Good luck and I uh, hope that works out for you.